Hi, I'm Rebecca. I'm Emma. I'm Chloe. And this is our EEG air correction checklist. Yeah, so basically the setup we have going on is we designed and constructed this conveyor belt um, which has no physical controls on it and that's because it is controlled purely by the Muse 2 EEG headband which is what Emma's wearing right now uh, which was donated to us by the Salk Institute in San Diego. Um, basically the Muse EEG headband um, records EEG data in real time um, and our project uh, deduces emotional states and in this case we're um, trying to figure out Emma's anxietal states and based on changes in those anxietal states uh, we control the direction of the conveyor belt. So this is the Muse. Um, it has four sensors. We use our two sensors on the forehead um, and we transmit data over Bluetooth to a phone and then from the phone we transmit over OSC to our computer which is a little bit of pre-processing um, and then sends it over serial to our PIC32. And then the PIC32 saves the um, data into arrays and then we perform an FFT on the raw data from the two front headband sensors and then we take a running average of the magnitudes from the gamma waves and we compare this to the pre-FFT data from the MU system. And once the um, pre-FFT data from the MU system goes above the, pre, uh, the FFT data that we did, um, then we consider that an anxiety event. And that will switch the direction of the conveyor belt. And, and a, gamma, a gamma wave is a certain frequency band. Yes. Is that right? Okay, yeah. okay. So, and then the, 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 the conveyor belt can change direction based upon your state with the and describe the task a little bit now here yeah so basically what's going on is we have uh, two different colored blocks and corresponding colored collection buckets uh, Emma's going to place a block in the center of the conveyor belt um, we're going to press a button to essentially start this game and the conveyor belt's going to move in one direction or the other. Um, if it's moving in the wrong direction, uh, Emma will have an anxiety event because it's moving in the wrongly uh, colored correction bin and um, spike her anxiety wave or attempt to spike her anxiety wave um, and that will consequently change directions of the conveyor belt. Okay, let's try it out. Okay. So I accidentally spiked it. So it was going in the right direction, and you spiked it. Now it's going in the wrong direction. So let's see how anxious you get here. Oop. Okay, so that one was wrong. So we'll mark it as wrong. And we have a little red LED flashing. Mm -hmm. And I see you leaning over the display, and you're getting a little bit of feedback yes. in, in, ter in numerical feedback in 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 a very immediate fashion. From right, that. I right. can see the running average, and then I can see my gamma magnitude. Okay. Okay. Maybe the next one moves in the yeah. wrong direction, we'll switch the color okay. of the ball. Okay. Yeah. So that one changed direction as it was getting near the end, as your anxiety was going up as the block approached the wrong bin. Exactly. Very cool. Yeah. Okay. And on the, some runs before the video, it worked 100%. Yes. Of yeah. course, right. I okay. think there's a little anxiety. Yeah, I was kind of... There's anxiety involved <laughs> in the video, too, isn't yeah. there? Oh, yeah, that, yeah. that's a confounding... 
Thing. You'd have to you'd have to do hours of video before it was not anxious anymore. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very cool. Thank you.